Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the Ryan and Russ Show. On today's episode, Larry Harrison is relieved of his coaching duties, and West Virginia looks to get their first win in Norman this Saturday as they play Oklahoma. All ahead on the Ryan and Russ Show. And we welcome you back to your source for West Virginia sports. I'm Rambling Rush. He's Moneyline Mac. We are the Ryan and Rush Show, and we're getting right into it. Uh, we were planning to start this game, uh, this episode, Ryan, talking about the Baylor game last night, you know, everything that's gone on with Jose Perez, and then, of course, the Oklahoma game. But, of course, when it rains, it pours. Um, coach Larry Harrison, the associate head coach, has been fired by West Virginia. Yeah, it's a bad day, man. It's uh, not very happy, obviously. Uh, Larry is a dear friend of mine. He's an unbelievable coach and an even better human being. And, I mean, this this is a very sad and dark day for this program. There's no other way to put it. I think the weather in Morgantown today was exactly what, what is going on. Is You know, leaving that Baylor game last night, I was just speechless. I didn't know what to say anymore. I just, I just in a way, you kind of just start getting angry. Um, and then, you know, obviously I know you've worked with coach Harrison. I, I, you know, I've met him a couple of times through, through us hanging out and he's just a great guy, just a great person, great gentleman. You know, he coached with hugs for 24 years, all going all the way back to Cincinnati, been at West Virginia now for, for a good bit of time. And it just, it hurts to see something like this. Yes. I bingo. I mean, you hit it right on the head. When, I mean, when I saw the tweet come out from the West Virginia account, man, my my stomach dropped. I was I was like, is this this can't be real? I mean, is this really the route that we're going? And then I think I don't, I don't think hugs had anything to do with this. I think this was administration, and unfortunately, there's some people that have been working behind the scenes to get him out, and they know who they are, and it's it's a joke. I mean, it really is. It's and, the, and and those people are a joke, or they're even a bigger joke. So beyond disappointed, and um, I mean, this loss hurts everybody. It does. It does. Um, I it's. I guess I'm just going to ask, because you, you've been in this, is where do we yeah. go from here? So here's my biggest thing, and I mean, I don't want to be – I hate when people talk down to you like, hey, you don't know this or that. I know more than you. But on this topic, I know more than everybody. So I'm going to I'm gonna talk down to everybody because I've seen tweets that Larry Harrison's the problem, that he can't relate to the players and stuff like that. That is completely false. That is completely false. Anybody that's been in that building knows that Larry Harrison is the backbone of that program. Hugs is the face, obviously. He's the one that – makes all the hard decisions. But Larry Harrison's been there every step of the way for the last 15 years, 25 years. You're going to start seeing over the next couple of days, multiple alumni, Javon Carter, Dexter Miles, Tariq Phillip, Deuce McBride, you name it, Deshaun Butler, say how, how disappointed they are in this decision. Because Larry Harrison has meant everything to all these guys. And I was – I <laughs> like – Everybody thinks that they know what's going on in that place. They don't. They really don't, unfortunately. I, I hate to be the guy that says you really don't know what you're talking about, but people that are putting that out there, you do not know what you're talking about. And from the days that I was a manager and video coordinator, late at night, cutting film or in the gym rebounding, guess who was there every step of the way? Larry Harrison. When I needed a job when I graduated in 2016, yes, Hugs picked up the phone for me. Yes, Ronnie did as well. But who, who went out of his way, took me under his wing on recruiting trips? Larry Harrison. When I got out of the business just recently, we started Ryan and Rush show. Guess who's calling me? Hey, checking in. How are you doing? Larry Harrison. Yeah. When, 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 when there's an issue at 3 a.m. at night with the players, they get in an incident. I mean, we're all young. Who are they calling? Larry Harrison. I even got an issue at, in the middle of the night as a student. Guess who I called to help me out? Larry Harrison. Every single... <laughs> Every single person in that program that has stepped into that building, Larry Harrison has had their back. And it, this is this is a sad and dark day. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad you shared all that, Ryan, because people, I mean, including me, I'll be the first one um, to say that they don't know what happens behind the scenes. We think we do, but when you're, especially during a season, and this can be any sport, right? Football, basketball, baseball, et cetera. Yeah. 
is you are married to that lifestyle, right? And as we, we we've talked about it before, there are um, coaches with a high divorce rate. There are coaches that you know struggle with different things because it's just it's such a just type of lifestyle that it's just very hard to maintain and very hard to it's just it's not healthy it's not like what a normal yeah. you know you know person goes through not saying you know we're not grateful for everything that goes on so all that to say is it we don't we don't know what's going on and and as you're kind of being the inside source and being formally on this coaching staff as the video coordinator i think it's important for the west virginia fan base or anyone that's been around bob huggins or to, to know that Larry Harrison is is not the problem and that he is a good man and and deserves good things. No doubt. And that that's why I wanted really wanted to say what I had to say. This is not I don't want to finger point at the people that are doing this. That is what it is. And their day's gonna come. So they know who they are and it's a joke. But it is what it is at this point. They've made the decision to go away from Larry. Um but it's not just me too. I mean like I said with the players, I mean even the managers. I mean, you look at uh, around college basketball. You got James Herring at Radford, who got who helped him get his first job. Larry Harrison, Ben Asher's at Youngstown State, assistant coach. Guess who helped him get? Uh, I think it was, was NC State GA job right out of college. Larry Harrison, Darius Nichols will do anything for Larry Harrison at, at uh, Radford as well. I mean, it's it's everybody, and it's it's just so sad. And I just I took it. I, I'm taking it upon myself to shoot down all this fake news nonsense that he's the problem because he's not. And, and, and this, and when you lose what we've lost four in a row this year and 14 out of 18, it's bigger than just one person at that point. It's, it's everybody, yeah. everybody's in this together. And, and for this decision from administration to say that he's the problem. And, and that's why we've lost 18 out of 22. It's a joke. They don't, they don't know for frankly, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, he's not the scapegoat. I agree. It's the problem's deeper. He's just unfortunately, there's always the one that falls on on the sword, and fortunately, yep. it was him. So, where where does the team go from here, Ryan? It's we're you know we have Oklahoma. We're at Oklahoma. Definitely a winnable game. They've only beaten Texas Tech um, this year, and Texas Tech is another team that down the road when we play them, we can get right and get on track with them. But now what? We're zero and four. Um, easily could have been a three and one record. Uh, yep. with some of those games a lot of just i think i think with what happened to larry harrison it's just kind of the story of what happened in the baylor game you know last night and i don't think there's too much of a need to visit that but how do we move forward how do we get that win at, against oklahoma so i i laid out all the past and how larry's meant so much to everybody that's come through that program or stepped in that building He's also very close with the current players. I mean, like I said, that guy is in the building every second of the day, and he's always there to help the players. So I, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I think, obviously, Hugs is as good as anybody at rallying the troops in, in, in uh, what you, what's the right word, crisis situation, because this mm -hmm. is a crisis. But I, I don't really know where that team is mentally right now. It's, it's, it's not a good day for this program. It's but but at the same time, Rush, like you said, we are 0 and 4, but there is still what 15 games left on the regular season schedule. Well, yeah, I agree. And it's like what was Hugs was saying in his press conference last night is, and we've talked about this in the past too. If there's always teams, you know, coming this time of year, you know, especially going into February, where all of a sudden they decide to make a run, and you know, that run can last them through their conference tournament, get them in the NCAA tournament, can take them through. So it's basically it has that's what it's come to here is there we definitely need to go on a couple runs here and i think oklahoma is a great way to start that i mean we could go into detail all day about oklahoma and what they do and how we beat them and you know they like to spread the ball out you know a lot they play their center up etc cetera, etc cetera. but I, I think we're just at a point where none of that matters ryan i think this is just a throw away the the tape throw away the stats and you yeah. just go out there and you go play and you win this game for larry harrison yeah, no, no doubt. And I mean, Ronnie Everard has a scout. He's had the scout every year for Oklahoma. I, I, uh, I love, love him to death, but what he says right now doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I mean, I know systematically we got to guard Oklahoma. We got to keep the ball out of the high post because they got the, uh, the bigger Groves guy and they got good guards as well. They almost wanted to fog on Monday night. They got another team that got a job by the officials there. So, uh, 
yeah, they're good. And I mean, this is just another distraction right now. So it's, it's not good. Not good. Not at all. Well, I think it's, it's going to be one of those situations is of course, how the players respond. Like you were saying earlier, mm -hmm. is this gonna, you know, bury them or are they going to rise from that? And I think that's where teams that, that go on to do well, you know, whether they win it all or not, you know, of course that's one thing, but teams that, you know, are able to rise from this, it, you know, turns out that they can do amazing things. So ho hopefully, and, you know, I wish it didn't cost Coach Harrison his job, but I do hope, you know, the good thing that comes about it is this team rallies behind Coach Harrison because you are right. I, I've, I've seen it, you know, that these players love and adore Coach Harrison, and they'll, I think they will go out and play for him and fight for him, and hopefully we see they good will. things from it. Yep, they will. So I, 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 you are right. I do anticipate a spirited effort on Saturday. I hope it's enough, because like you said, you could throw it all. Hugs can run the best offense in the world. It doesn't. It doesn't matter right now. It's going to be an emotional game. Um, they play Oklahoma on Saturday, twelve o'clock in good old Norman. Um, be a great, great time to get a win after being zero and four, and you know keep being relevant in the Big Twelve. So we'll we'll see what happens. But Ryan, any any on this? Unfortunate day. Um, any any final thoughts? Yeah, just to keep rehashing. Uh, congrats. If this is it for Larry, I mean, he, he obviously has coached a while. He's his days at Cincinnati. I mean, you go way back mm -hmm. to his days as a uh, head coach at Hartford uh, Community College as well. So he's paid his dues. It, it's an unbelievable career. If this is the end, um, I anticipate Larry's a guy that can't stop working. So I'm sure he will find work and keeps it, in any capacity he may get, maybe he goes the nba route where he wants to be a scout so he did that in the year before he came to morgantown and think i uh 2007 so unbelievable career uh even better person like i said like it mm -hmm. he, he is a great basketball mind and he's held he knows hugs more than anybody but it's just the stuff that he's done behind the scenes that nobody sees every single day of that program from the former managers to the former players to the current players, current managers and the other coaches and anybody that's just come across him over the years. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a sad and dark day, man. It is. So we end on a kind of a somber episode, but Hey, let's now's the time to, to turn it around. It's always darkest before the dawn and be cheering hard for the Mountaineers against Oklahoma on Saturday. Go Mountaineers. Later.